1938 D. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. According to Heritage Auctions, this first-year Denver issue is highly sought after in high grade, but Full Steps examples are scarce finer than MS-66 and rare in MS-68. Pristine, lustrous surfaces of this superb gem yield dusky amber gold toning with iridescent wisps throughout. It ended up selling for $33,600. eighteen seventy eight c c morgan dollar graded in mint state sixty seven by n g c the Carson City mint put its best foot forward in eighteen seventy eight producing more than two point two million morgan dollars despite the dies not arriving until mid april as a rule one thousand eight hundred seventy eight c c morgans are well struck this first year issue becomes scarce at the premium gem uncirculated level and it is rare any finer, allowing this superb gem to rank among the finest certified by either p c g s or n g c Brilliant, frosty surfaces are virtually pristine and highly lustrous. The CC mitt mark leans right in a long dye line from a leaf tip to the O and one help attribute the late dye state VAM 9 dye pair. It ended up selling for $31,200 on February 8, 2024. 1964 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mitt mark D over D. This cherry picker's variety, which shows the mitt mark repunched south. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Despite being the most plentiful mint-marked issue of its era, the 1909 SVDB is always in high demand, especially when fully struck in high mint state grades such as this vibrant red premium gem. Original yellowish-orange color adorns finely grained surfaces that emit excellent mint luster, while the strike is needle-sharp throughout both sides including the all-important VDB initials. There are no distracting marks and carbon is limited to only a handful of microscopic, pinpoint obverse flex. It fetched a price of $15,600. 1976 Bicentennial Eisenhower Dollar. Type 2 variety. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. Both sides have satin luster with gold and pale blue toning on the obverse. The reverse displays violet, gold, and blue toning and both the obverse and reverse feature a bold strike with a high degree of eye appeal. It was sold for $10,800. 1955 Lincoln Cent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. Statiny surfaces of this choice mint state coin display a good blend of copper gold and olive chestnut, the former color occupying the protected portions of the fields. The coin is also well struck and displays minimal marks. CAC endorsement adds to the eye appeal. It was sold for $9,600. 1992 D. Lincoln sent with close AM graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. This major modern scent rarity features AM in America touching. Each side is fully red with swirling luster and full strike detail. It was sold for $9,600. 1996 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. D stands for Denver Mint. According to PCGS, the 1996 D. Kennedy Half Dollar is a common issue and can be bought very inexpensively and circulated grades up to about MS 66 condition. In MS 67 it is a little tougher to find but for a small premium one can be purchased very easily. In MS 68 condition they are scarce and command a much higher premium than MS 67 coins of this date and mint mark. This specimen was sold for $312. And there you have it folks. 8 rare coins that you should keep an eye out for. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Take care.